Hi everyone, this is Riot, or Iron Wang, from the Achievement Hunter site, and I'm going to show you how I made my Achievement Hunter basketball tank. I took the calligraphy style Achievement Hunter text from one of the older hoodies on the RT website, cut it into a stencil, and then glued it face down onto a piece of heat and bond. I laid the stencil over a piece of black sports mesh fabric, cut it to the right size, and then ironed the heat and bond stencil down onto the fabric to fuse it all together. I went over all the details of a pencil, just to make it easier for me to see, and then very, very slowly cut it all out with a pair of scissors. This whole clip is actually running at 8,000 times the speed, just to show you how long it took to cut out all the letters. Because I already made a funhouse version of the basketball jersey, I already had a pattern drawn out for this, which is why I didn't bother showing a clip of it. Also, it would have been really boring to watch. Uh, and I also thought I'd spare everyone the pain of having to watch me cut out white fabric as well. So, you're welcome for that. The fabric tends to get very floppy once the paper backing has been removed, so I used a second printout of the text as a guide, lined it all up so it was straight and centred on the fabric, and then ironed over it all again to bond the black calligraphy text to the white front of the jersey. I had a very rough idea of what I wanted the front to look like, and sort of winged it from there. Uh, the hoodie that I took the calligraphy text from had a very small Achievement Hunter logo on in the corner, and I wanted it to be a bigger design. So I blew up a larger version of the logo and then marked where the text would overlap it so I could cut around it and sort of integrate the logo in with the text. About 80% of this project involved me cutting shit out and I hated every minute of it. I marked out all the bits that I was gonna be cutting out and throwing away because the first time I did this, I cut straight through the piece I actually wanted to use, and then I had to start again. Same as with the calligraphy text, I lined up the fabrics so that the little mesh marks in the front were straight, and going in the same direction as the white pieces of the jersey, uh, lined up the logo over the top, and then ironed over them to bond the fabric with the template. And in a shocking turn of events, I cut out even more things with tiny, tiny scissors. Will the fun ever stop? This bit's also at a thousand times the speed because, unbelievably, it takes a very long time to cut things out when you're using scissors that can only cut a centimetre at a time. So once again, I peeled the paper backing off the fused pieces, uh, lined it all up on the shirt front with text to make sure it was evenly spaced out and looked good and was still central, and then ironed it all together. I may sound incredibly depressed, but this was actually a very fun project for all the cutting and fiddling. I'm just very tired right now. Uh, the Achievement Hunter jersey is actually for Mika Burton, hence me cutting out a stencil of her name. Uh, I went for the first name rather than surname because Mika's a really cute name. Uh, and the numbers 21 were Mika's choice because it's the legal drinking age for America. On the Funhouse jersey that I made for myself, uh, the name is Tyrone after the office's resident sex doll and it has the numbers 34 on it that stand for rule 34. You're probably wondering why I'm stenciling all of this onto white fabric when the jersey is also white, and the answer is because I'm a moron, and you can tell exactly when I realise I've screwed up. So after a very quiet, very brief and mature internal tantrum, I got some more heat and bond, fused it to some black fabric, and then mounted the stencils onto that. After that, I did the same thing, uh, cut out the numbers and the letters, 
positioned them with a ruler to make sure everything was neat and straight and everything was centralized and then ironed it all and fused all the letters on as well. Now that both the front and the back had all their detailing finished, I got ready to sew everything together finally. Uh, I laid both pieces face to face with the detailing on the inside and then lined up the edges and pinned them to make sure they didn't shift or stretch while I was sewing them together. Now I'll try not to get too excited at the sudden change in camera angle. Uh, once I'd sewn the side seams and the shoulder straps together, uh, I rolled the bottom hem over three times and then stitched it. Uh, the sports mesh that the jersey is made from is very, very light. It's uh, to keep you cool, it's more of a lining material. And so I rolled the hem over three times just to give it a little more weight at the bottom so that the jersey wouldn't ride up or shift around too much. With the Funhouse jersey, I finished off the neck and arm holes with striped ribbing uh, to break up the edges and just give it a really nice finish. But the Achievement Hunter jersey was a lot more minimalist, so I just edged the neck with a simple black ribbing and then hemmed the arm holes rather than give it too much unnecessary detailing. The last thing to do was go over the whole thing with a lint roller, just catch any little bits of fluff or string and snip off any stray threads. And this is the finished product. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Hopefully Mika will be as well. I'm already planning a screw attack jersey to work on next because I clearly haven't cut out enough stuff yet. And to see more of my Rooster Teeth creations, such as the Funhouse dress or the Elise Muppet I made, you can find me on the RT site as Iron Dash Wang. Thanks for watching.